Hi guys, my name is Zin and uh, this is maybe Bonsai and today we're going to look at a Portrait Carrier Afra, otherwise known as the Dwarf Jade. Uh, that's this one. Uh, this has been growing all summer and uh, I really haven't done anything to it. Um, there was a quite violent rain last week which I think it broke off the branch. Um, either that or maybe a bird landed and, and probably broke the branch. Um, but either way, you can see the growth on this is uh, very legged and uh, you know, it's kind of out of control now. I have to take it back and uh, you know, put it into shape. So we'll get started with that. So my only goal today is to prune this back and uh, you know, just, just to take it back more, just so you can branch more, get more ramifications. Um, and also, you know, hopefully you can reduce the inner node length. And so all I'm going to be using is my pair of scissors. So we'll start. Uh, start with the top, actually. I'm going to... Because I know some of these are way too long. And need to, I need to take them back. So I'll start with, start with this. So that, I'm going to take it back all the way to here. And all these can be planted as cuttings. Um, but... I don't know if I want any more uh, tropical stuff, <laughs> as I said before. And I could just put this into the ground, uh, in, you know, in one of my raised garden beds and it'll grow. Because uh, I, I put some of the variegated dwarf jade in there and uh, they, they survived, a few of them survived. And uh, I don't really know what to do with them because <laughs> I, really I don't really want any more of uh, tropicals. But, you know, maybe I'll give them away or something. But yeah, so I might plant this as well. and. Uh, and see what I can do before winter. So, so we'll get the most obvious one here, which is this. And I'll cut it to here. So hopefully, I'm hoping this will develop so it will kind of go up. This will take it back there. Um, so I'll take these back first. Actually, I'm thinking of taking it all the way back there. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that instead. Maybe plant that as a cutting. So this guy's really long here. Take that back here. Take that back there. So this bottom thing here, that's a cutting from before, and it rooted. That's a tiny cutting, which I just left it in there. I didn't think it would take it, but it did root <laughs> as well. Um, so let me just get rid of some of these burnt leaves from before. So I think the top, I'm gonna to take it back to here. So my goal for this is I'm trying to get out of the um, usual branching of the dwarf jade, which is you get this two branches on each side, and then the next one up, it will be basically a cross, so two coming from here. So I'm, I'm trying to get something that's different, and I think this part here is doing that job, as the top is cut, so you get some uh, diagonal branches instead. But right now, this, this one is extremely long. Um, I think I'm gonna need to take that back even more, maybe to here. 
and I think I will do that. I, I think everything else is okay for now. I guess right now this is the new leader, which is quite thin, so I can let that grow a bit more and see what happens. But yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do for this jade today. It's going to be a quick prune. Uh, this branch here, actually, it's kind of weird. It's going downwards. <sighs> um, and if I take that off, that side is kind of empty. There's, there's nothing else. So what I'll do is I'll take it back here. And hopefully the top one is going to come out with a new bud and we'll get a branch going up instead of down. That little thing, I'll leave it for now. If it grows, it grows, you know. So I think that's it for, for the uh, pruning. All this is from the cutting on the bottom. So we'll take a look at what came out of it. I think a lot of these could be, you know, small, nice cuttings. Um, And you know, you could start a tiny forest with this. And I might, I might just plant all of them so that it doesn't go to waste. But yeah, these guys, you can propagate them quite easily. Um, and you'll be overwhelmed with the amount of cuttings you have in like under a year <laughs> if you plant everything you have. Okay, so that's it for the prune. I'm gonna give this a water. Um, I haven't watered anything today, so. So the soil is a free draining soil so I'm, I'm able to water it thoroughly and uh, it'll be fine. It's coming on the bottom so that's good. So I'll put this on the bench and I'll show you the other dwarf tree that I have which I uh, kind of chalk chopped. Okay so that's the dwarf tree that we just pruned back on the bench. And um, this is that uh, ficus that I pruned last week. And you can see that there's a couple of new buds that's starting to develop. Um, so that's a good thing. And uh, next week, I think I might do this ficus, which is a clump style. It's a little, uh, not a dragonfly, but like the baby dragonfly up there. Um, so the other dwarf jade that I have is here. Let me just take this out. So this one, I did a trunk chop, and not at the top, but at the bottom, because there was a reverse taper. So I chopped this trunk, uh, the entire thing, and I plucked it in here. And uh, it's been, I think, a, at least a month now, at least, and it's been fine. So I think this has rooted, and, you know, the foliage is nice and firm. Uh, it's got really small leaves, but... That's gonna change <laughs> once winter hits. But I'm not gonna prune this because I, I don't know how much root that there is for, uh, for it yet. And uh, I'll just let it grow out and maybe sometime in the winter I might prune it back. But it's looking good. I was really worried about this because I, I didn't know if I can uh, root the uh, whole trunk as a cutting. But I guess they're very tough, <laughs> hard to kill. Um, so here we have some of the, what you call it, cashews. So I cut one of them off last week or a couple weeks ago, I think, just to see what will happen. And you can see the buzz at the, at the base of the uh, stem there. It's, it's, it's already kind of coming out, it's swelling. And compared to some of the rest, which I didn't cut off, and there's no new buds or anything like that. So 
so that's good so now that I know you can kind of cut back and it'll, it'll kind of butt from the leaves um, I still don't know what to do with these because they're just massive <laughs> uh, so let me show you some of the other cuttings of the dwarf jays that I put in here just not caring I just plugged this in because it you know it was a uh, it was pruning I just like I'll just put it in here and see what happens and uh, you know I'm not sure if you can see it but there's one right here that has rooted this was from before who knows when that's rooted and then that there has all rooted so I don't know what to do with these I guess eventually you have to take them out before the winter hits uh, yeah <laughs> so and the cuttings that I or the the pruned off cuttings I put them into this uh, tray here I guess I'll use it as a cutting tray in, in, a, in a way and I think they're all I just lightly watered it um, I think I think they're all gonna root to be honest I don't it's just this thing doesn't really die uh, so yeah I'll be I think I'll have too much too many of these uh, dwarf jays so another update is that some of the air layers I cut off so this is the ginkgo from the front now when I cut this off I didn't think it had any roots because the leaves were going yellow for on the entire branch where I, I, I made the air layer so I was like okay it's probably dying and uh, I'm gonna cut it off and I want to try to root it in sphagnum moss instead as a cutting because uh, you know it has callus and I know it has callus so then when I took it off and I checked the uh, bottom there was actually one big root that that's about this long coming out so you know <laughs> I, I, I could have left it on for until the end of August but it was really not looking good the whole thing was going yellow you know these as you can see these leaves are half green half yellow and that's why I, I took it off but I put in sphagnum moss and it's in the shade all day so I think um, I think there's a good chance that the roots will grow and this will this will be okay uh, but that being said you never know I don't know what's gonna happen but I'm hoping it's gonna root so uh, we'll see what happens with this ginkgo and this one this is the Acer palmatum arakawa this has rooted from the air layer there's lots of roots uh, under here I didn't video this because I was just that one day I was doing a whole bunch of uh, air layer hovered things because I I thought they, they, they haven't rooted but this one I think I showed you this last week so I took that off and uh, this is all sphagnum moss it's in this colander kind of thing and I'm not really worried about root rot from the sphagnum moss because the, the sphagnum moss contains a lot of moisture it holds moisture a lot but because this is so open uh, I'm not worried at all uh, of any kind of root rot so hopefully that, that does well and uh, you know comes back with uh, a lot of vigor next year another one is the where is it it's the uh, what you call it uh, trident maple which did not root I thought this rooted but it didn't so when I opened it there's callus again there's callusing and it didn't root so I cut cut the thing off and uh, I'm now I'm putting into sphagnum moss as a cutting so you know we'll see what happens to it this spot is kind of shady most of the day um, and I hope it's going to be okay I, I, I don't know if it's going to root but you know what if it hasn't rooted now I have to take a chance with the cuttings uh, or else it's just going to come winter and um, you know I don't think I can protect it through winter uh, on, on like minus 20 um, this here is the uh, what you call it the uh, Acer palmatum dissectum it's from the front yard and this one have not rooted but it also callus a lot but it just didn't grow any roots so I put in again I took it off as a cutting and uh, hopefully it's gonna root uh, same as that one there actually this one's a different story this this is the season of change that's planting in the ground over there this one didn't root uh, but it did callus a lot and then as a matter of fact it callus too much it was bridging the gap which was a quite big big of a gap it was bridging the gap the entire thing was connected again and that's why it didn't root so I didn't want to leave it on there to be honest so I took it off and uh, I'll take a chance with with it as a cutting and see if it roots 
And if it doesn't root, it's not a big deal as all these trees are still alive. So if it failed, you know what, it failed fine. I'll, I'll try it again next year, not a big deal. So just to show you, so this is the season of change. And the cut is on this side, that's the cut right there. As you can see, that's the callus. Like, look, you can, you can see where the callus is, this whole thing. This, you know, all of that, that's new, right? You can see the tree there and the, everything surrounds it. So it came back and it, it was trying to heal itself. And, uh, but I, this was going way too tall anyway, so I, I wanted to get rid of it. Um, so hopefully it's going to root. If it doesn't root, no, uh, no big deal. Once this grows out, I'll try this again in a year or two. And then the trident maple is right here. As you can see, I took it off um, again. We'll see if this survives the winter. Uh, it is a, uh, the zone works, but you know, I've heard lots of people say that it doesn't, doesn't work so well, but well, anyway, we'll see. So that's all the update I have for today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.